to my other topics on hair, makeup, styling, social media image, body language. Today I'm going to add yet another important topic. Manicure. With regular manicures and pedicures during winter months, you can keep your hands, nails, skin smooth and soft despite the exposure to the harsh winter elements. But here is a whole new different reason I think it is important to do it regularly. When you look good, you get more attention, respect and appreciation. When you improve your appearance, it becomes much easier to receive it. People look at you differently, right? They pay more attention to you, they listen to you, they seek your company when your outer beauty matches your inner beauty. It takes you to that next level of your confidence. You feel even better. As your confidence grows, so does your respect at home and at work. Your insecurity falls off. You become more daring, more self-assured and courageous. I'm a Chicago-based lifestyle and image coach and I'm proud to be someone who helps her client find a new level of confidence that's far beyond doing the right makeup or wearing the right clothes. Make these changes and boom! In a few days, there you added yet another dimension of beauty to yourself. You like it or not, people are making judgments based on your looks and your knowledge, both. Now I'm sure you need what it takes to be an expert in your work arena. I'm not worried about your knowledge. It's your appearance and confidence that I help with. Well manicured nails or unattended nails. In either case, they get attention for good or bad reasons. Clearly today we are going to tell you how to make people's eyes roll in the direction of your hands for good reasons. And guess what? I do it at home. If you want to learn my ways of nail care and manicure, without spending on the expensive salon manicures, then you're welcome to blush with me. Hope you're as excited as I am. I have just moved into this new house. You can clearly hear the echo of this empty house. And clearly my excitement is showing all over me. So welcome to my new home too. This is not a how to do manicure video. This is my tips to follow at home when I'm looking for more than a salon manicure. My manicure, what does it do? It removes tans removes cuticles, nourishes your nails, makes your manicure last much longer. You will learn how to correct mistakes of a home manicure and understand what's a good length for classy nails. A relaxing massage? Well, for that, I do need to visit salon once in a while. Dry hands and chipped, faded nails make you conscious. So let's change that. If the issue was just chipped nail polish, then just removing nail polish should have solved the problem. But notice the other problems that age your hands. Chipping nails, dry cuticles, discoloration of skin around the nails, dryness. It does not make your hands appear soft and feminine at all. I'm going to use some leftover pulp of orange juice to scrub my hand. This is filled with vitamin C and helps in removing discoloration. It evens out the tone, brightens your hands and nails. Also helps in pulling out the dead skin from your nails and soft dried out cuticles. I'm not using any soap here, I'm using baking soda in warm water to soak my nails for 5 to 10 minutes. This also helps in filing your nails because now your nails are much softer. I'm now going to use an instant cuticle remover by Sally Hansen. Instead of using the cuticle removing apparatus that they use in the salons, I find it much easier to use this cuticle remover by Sally Hansen. Just leave it for a minute or so and just scrub it out with some cotton and wash it with warm water. After about 15 seconds, I'm going to push the cuticles back. I can actually feel the dry dead cuticle coming off. 
So when you're shaping your nails, it's not just the front part of your nail that needs shaping, but also the lower end of your nails. So let's shape this part out and make it look broader, creating a bigger nail bed. I like the soft square shape. So this is how I cut my nails, straight on top and little clicks on the side just to soften them so they don't hurt anyone. Cut and file your nails to desired shape and length. Make sure when you're filing the nails, you file only in one direction. This avoids your nail from chipping in long run. Back and forth filing is a reason why your nails chip very easily. Also flat file your nail bed a little bit. This makes them slightly rough and helps nail polish adhere better to your nails. This makes the nail polish last longer. Before I apply any nail polish, I'm going to use Burt's Bees Almond and Milk Hand Cream and massage my hands for good five minutes, especially the cuticles and nails. Remember to take off the hand cream from your nail beds with a nail polish remover before you apply any base coat. After I massage my hands with the hand cream, I put on cotton gloves by Burt's Bee. Today, I've just used them for about 15 minutes, but usually it's overnight. It really helps to keep the moisture sealed in. At this point of time, it's completely up to you. If you want to apply nail polish or leave your hands as it is because they're looking nice, clean, hydrated, moisturized, the dead cuticles are gone, the nails are looking strong and clean. The discoloration from the area around your cuticle, from your knuckles has reduced too. So it's completely up to you if you want to apply nail polish or leave them looking well-groomed the way they are right now. Once I wipe down my nail beds with the nail polish remover, I'm going to apply the base coat and nail polish. Two coats of any nail polish is a must. Now that there is no oil on my nails, I'm going to start with the base coat by Essie. Use a small piece of cotton cloth to wipe your nails with the acetone before you start with your base coat application because some cotton from the cotton ball will always get caught up in some sharp edges of your nails and that can make a lot of things go wrong if you try to correct it later. Now when you're doing a manicure at home, it's very important that the nail polish does not go anywhere on your cuticles or the skin around your nails. So I'm just going to push it down on one side, stretching this whole part out, making sure there's enough space for me to apply nail polish here. Put a dot and push that dot down and then pull it up. Same way again here, put a dot away from the cuticles. Push it down towards the cuticle. Stop right before it touches the cuticles and pull it back up. Now stretch this side so you can do the same thing here again. And make sure you also cover the tip of your nail. This helps them get thicker so they don't chip very easily. Again, stretch, dot, Push, pull back, dot, push, pull back, stretch, dot, push and pull back. On one nail, apply just three or four strokes. Steps like the long vitamin C scrub with the orange pulp or the luxury of keeping your hands wrapped in cotton gloves for 15 minutes or even overnight is something that you cannot get in a salon. It's definitely pampering to go into a salon and get your nails done because many of us are not very good at painting our nails perfectly. Which is why I prefer to get this nourishment at home which no salon can provide and then just get my nails painted at the salon. I'm now going to use Lady Page by Christian Louboutin for $50, it may seem like a little expensive for a nail polish, but think about it. If I go to a salon and spend $50 for one-time manicure pedicure versus if I buy a nail polish that I really like and has a much more 
dense and superior quality than the nail polishes that they use at regular salons then why not invest in those two or three colors that you wear regularly if you see just one coat and how thick and dense the color is and the shine is brilliant it is not a gel nail polish but it certainly looks like one I still prefer two coats for more even coverage all over your nails. I like to use this manicure brush in case there is a little bit of a spillover. I'm not perfect at doing this manicure. Especially painting my nails really makes me nervous. I love how luxurious and dense this nail polish is. Always cover the tips of your nail, this edge. I'm terrible at doing this, but this is when the brush helps. I immediately take it off my skin or my cuticle. I always keep it dipped in acetone right next to me, so whenever I mess up, I'm ready to use it immediately. When I did my last manicure, I did not cover the edge of my right thumbnail, but on my left, I did cover it up. So you can see, even after three days, this one has chipped off on the edge but this one hasn't which makes this nail last much longer i'm going to finish this off with the gel setter top coat by essie yet another reason why my nails don't chip and shine for at least eight to ten days That's the kind of face I make when people ask me why I paint my nails so often. <laughs> because you are never fully dressed without a good manicure. If you like my today's video, then hit the thumbs up button, click on the subscribe button and let me know that you have joined my gang on Blush With Me. By the way, I'm hoping that you will soon take me to that 500000 number so I can do a special video for you guys. Let me know what that special video should be. Can't wait to hear your suggestions in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about today's video too in the comments. I'm so excited to see that some of you will follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook fan page as soon as you're done watching this video, right? My Instagram account is blushwithme underscore parmita. My Facebook fan page is blushwithme parmita photography. Time to get back to cleaning and setting up my new home sweet home. Doing makeup and filming this video was a good break. Now cleaning the house with my makeup will create a barrier between my face and the layers of dust that it's going to accumulate. Well, that's my excuse for having makeup on even when I get down and dirty. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you next week. Until then, blush with me.